they're down by one, they have come back and played extremely well. I'm going to play St. Dick right now and give this the night a present. I think I'd like to give him Rick Pitino's wardrobe. I got to give Louis Conoseca. I'm going to play Santa Claus, an induction in the Hall of Fame. Jimmy Behind. Let's give Behind the looks of Ludosin and Ludosin's great hairstylist. And then we give PJ Carlissimo a nice razor to get rid of that beard that he possesses. And John Thompson will give him John McLeod's schedule maker down at Notre Dame and get rid of all those cupcakes. Well, tonight on ESPN, the Sports Center begins at 7 o'clock and coming up today and tonight here on ESPN. What a matchup that is going to be. Harold Miner, the explosive, a mini version of Michael Jordan at Southern Cal. A great second guard going against Jimmy Jackson, who if I had to pick three guys, I'd want the ball in their hands at the end of the game. I'd want Brian Stith from out of Virginia, who you'll see in that late game. I'd want Jimmy Jackson, and I'd want Allen Houston down at Tennessee. I'd want those three to have the ball at the end of the game. They're on my all clutch team. 8.4 seconds left in this one. Anderson switches it for the five-point Hoosier lead. I think the bottom line is Jason Buchanan and Gordan have to be more involved offensively and St. John's will have another great year. It can't be one-dimensional. Malik Sealy. Buchanan and Gordan have to do it. For Indiana and Bobby Knight, he passes the test in the final exam and they get a nice A out of the big city. New York, New York, baby. If you can do it in New York, as Francis Albert Sinatra says, you can do it anywhere. Merry Christmas, Ron, and Merry, all the people. Merry Christmas to you, Dick. So our final score is 82 to 77. Indiana wins. We say again, happy birthday to basketball. Today, 100 years ago, it started. And the Hoosiers, the victors at the Garden.